This animation demonstrates how B vitamin coenzymes must be present in order to enable some enzymes to carry out their functions. Many of the B vitamins assist in the complex biochemical processes that produce energy from food. The B vitamins are essential parts of coenzymes. Coenzymes are part of the machinery that allows reactions to take place. Enzymes are large protein molecules that catalyze biochemical reactions by lowering activation energies. Enzymes accomplish catalysis by configuring chemical reactants in the best possible spatial arrangement for reactivity. This enzyme catalyzes the release of carbon dioxide when producing energy from carbohydrates. Combining with the coenzyme helps the inactive enzyme achieve the appropriate three-dimensional configuration. For this reaction, thiamine must be present as the coenzyme. The green coenzyme molecule above is thiamine pyrophosphate, the cofactor needed to permit the enzyme and the substrate, pyruvate, to combine in the correct orientation to catalyze the reaction. Now all three molecules are nested together, and the substrate, pyruvate, combines chemically with the coenzyme, thiamine. The biochemical reaction can take place and energy, as ATP, and CO2 are produced as products of the reaction. Once this happens, the remaining complex, containing the two-carbon fragment, thiamine, and the apoenzyme, rearranges and releases the two-carbon fragment, acetaldehyde, and the ATP. The departure of the acetaldehyde opened the thiamine pyrophosphate to combine with another molecule of pyruvate, and the cycle continues. Meanwhile, the energy is now in the molecule ATP and is available to do work or to be stored. Another way that a coenzyme can influence the reaction between substrate and enzyme is to cause a change in configuration of the enzyme without interacting with the substrate. Here you see the conformational change in the enzyme needed to configure the enzyme to accept the substrate in a lock and key complex. This is called an allosteric control. The cofactor approaches the inactive enzyme and bonds to it in an enzyme-coenzyme complex. The new configuration is a good fit for the substrate. Once this enzyme cofactor substrate complex is formed, energy can be released as ATP, and the other reaction products can be released from the complex. Now the correctly configured active site on the enzyme is free to engage another substrate. The amount of B vitamins that are needed to serve as coenzymes is quite small. There is enough thiamine activity in 1.2 milligrams to meet the average person's needs all day. Extra B vitamins will not produce more energy. Excess B vitamins in the body will pass out of the kidneys into the urine. This table shows some details about several of the roles played by B vitamins as coenzymes.